Let me now discuss why swaddling is not recommended by many experts. Please remember, do not swaddle your baby if your baby is practicing to roll over. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about swaddling. Let me come straight to the point. Did I ever swaddle Olive? No. In this video, I am going to discuss of why certain pediatric associations certain daycare centers and few doctors believe that swaddling is risky and why it is not recommended and why it is against the policies of few daycare centers. Let's dive into all these details and do not skip this video. Watch this video until the end. And hey, if you're new to this channel, I am Tina. I'm a mom of a preterm baby who was born at 30 weeks with 1.27 kgs of weight. And now she's an adorable toddler who is two years, four months old. And now she is 11.7 kgs of weight. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Let me now discuss why swaddling is not recommended by many experts. Reason number one, it's very restrictive. So that's really not a nice thing to restrict the bodily movements that the baby is developing over a period of time. Reason number two, it really decreases the awakening, the arousal of the baby. It's very important for babies to have the arousal. When they hear sudden loud noises, they need to respond. They need to react. They need to just, you know, like feel around what's going on. But when you swat on the baby all the time, that arousal really decreases over a period of time. And it's very, very dangerous. Especially it leads to again sits as we have discussed before. That's very, very dangerous. And many babies have passed away due to that. I'm not here to scare you. I have personally researched over that topic and I was not scared, but I was really, really conscious of how I was dealing with my baby. Third reason is it causes hip dysplasia. According to the Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America, they say that when you really straighten the legs of the baby and swaddle the baby all the time without keeping their legs bent or loose, they're really going to have dysplasia, hip dysplasia. The Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America always promotes hip healthy swaddling. That is, you do not straighten the legs of the babies. You keep the legs up and down so that they are naturally like folded how babies usually are. And then they allow you to swaddle only loose. Do not make it very tight. The fourth reason is overheating. So many mothers, especially the influencers or anybody who wants to portray that they are really having a cute crib or a cute this thing and cute that thing, they're really promoting something very harmful. That is keeping too many blankets or overheating the baby, over layering the baby, over tightly swaddling the babies and restricting the babies in mind just because it's cute. I know this is cute, but is it safe? Think it that way. Just because you want a picture perfect baby, it doesn't mean the baby is comfortable. It doesn't mean the baby is healthy. It doesn't mean it is safe for the baby. So always stop looking at something that is cute and in trend instead of doing what is safe and healthy for you and your baby. Just don't do so many things that suffocate the baby and creates a lot of heat inside the baby. What happens is when there is excessive heating, the baby gets exhausted. It is very, very fatal in the long run. So please be very careful of these four reasons that we have discussed. If you know the right technique and if you're doing it in the correct manner and not too tight, then it's absolutely all right. And always please remember, do not swaddle your baby if your baby is practicing to roll over. Because if you swaddle your baby and your baby is rolling over, they do not know how to roll back. And sometimes it's highly risky because they may get their airway blocked when they are rolling over. And many of the cases in SIDs, that's sudden infant death syndrome, it's the case of suffocation. So please do not swaddle your baby when they are trying to roll over or they are kind of being very active. If you're also interested in learning more about preterm babies, do consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a video, it will come straight to you. 
and don't forget to share this valuable information with many other mamas around you. So now let's conclude the video. My suggestion is do it right only if you know what is right. Second one, don't do it very tightly. Third one, don't put on too many layers and don't overheat the baby. And fourth, last but not the least is always have your eyes on the baby. Check your baby. Do not swaddle and put your baby somewhere and go do your work. If you are leaving the baby away while they are sleeping, make sure there are no excessive blankets, there are no toys or pillows and the baby is not swaddled and make sure the baby is having no obstruction to the airway. The baby is breathing happily. I have written this book especially to help the families of preterm babies who are looking for some support and some tips to help them and guide them to take care of their preterm babies at home. So this book is available on Amazon, Flipkart, Notion Press. You also have an ebook. I have made a separate video on how to keep your babies warm. You can check out this video for that. I've also made a video on how to arrange the bedding for preterm babies. Watch this video to see that.